Hey 3D modelers, welcome back. In this video we're going to look at how to split a model or a mesh into two pieces along a plane. So you see here I have the monkey, I basically sliced it with a plane and I have two pieces. So I'm going to show you two different ways to sort of do this. So here we go. I'm actually going to slide over here and I'm just going to do it on a sphere. And so let's pick this sphere up here and center. So first thing you want to do is depending if you're in perspective view or orthographic view, just hit five on the numpad and be in orthographic view. When you go to bisect this with the bisect tool, it's going to be based on the view of the camera. So you want it to have that, you know, drafting view, right? So it's going to do a perfect cut with the same uh, symmetry everywhere in the model. We switch into edit mode with the tab key. You take the bisect tool and you basically just draw your line and let go. That was with the left mouse button. And you have that line there. Now this is where you have two choices what you want to do. If you just want to ditch half the model, you'll see here the bisect tool options down in the bottom corner here. You could say clear inner or clear outer. And with that you also have fill. You know, and patch the hole up. Make a face. So that's basically the option there. And that really is it. Once I go out of Edit mode, that's your model. So that's if you just want to keep one half. Now, let's say you don't want to keep one half. Let's go back into edit mode. I'm going to do this again here. So I'm going to get a nice head on view, bisect view. I'm going to cut it. But this time, I'm not going to put these here, okay? I'm not going to use these options. Let's say I actually just want to keep both pieces. What I can do is you can basically do this. You can go select loop inner region, okay? And it'll select one region. If that's not the region you want, you could do an inverse if you want, right? Get the other half. Once you have this, I just want to separate this from this part of the mesh. And the long way is to go mesh, vertices, separate by selection. Or you can see the hot key was P. So I'm just going to hit the hot key here, go P, selection. And that's been separated. Tab key back to object mode. Right click on that piece. Pull it apart, and there you go. You have your two parts of your mesh. Okay, so that's one way. Now I'm going to show you another way, just because um, this way is slightly different. But I'm going to take this, go into edit mode, hit one, a nice front orthographic view, hit bisect, draw my bisect line. This is the way I saw in a Stack Overflow or Stack Exchange tutorial. Sort of nice. I hit H to hide that line. And now I hover the mouse over which half I want. Let's say I want this half. And I hit L, which is the same as doing select linked. So what I do is I hit L. It selects that half. And now I hit Alt-H to unhide the cut line. And basically I have that. So that's really the same if I go backwards. I could hit L here, unhide, Alt-H. So it's just a different way to do it. Um, that was actually faster if you're good with your keyboard commands. But that's basically it. Hit P to separate by selection. Go back into object mode. Right click. And you got your two pieces. So there you go. You have a nice, easy way here, very quick, how to cut along a plane. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. You'll use it at some point. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit subscribe and like.